Welcome back to This Week in Rideshare News. My name is Cecily and here are the latest headlines for Rideshare, gig economy and food delivery apps this week. Some Uber passengers will be required to undergo mass verification checks before riding. Uber is in the process of launching a mask verification check for some passengers, those who are repeat offenders. There are countless disputes over unmasked riders and Uber has finally decided to do something about it, especially for repeat offenders. The system will use a similar technology that scans drivers faces. Packs will not be able to ride until the scan is accepted. This technology will be implemented in only a few weeks. So look out for it. A woman is accused of pulling a gun out and shooting at a door dash delivery driver over a $10 McDonald's order. And I was like, like what just happened, you know? Oh, it happened. Ricky Johnson shot at over 10 bucks worth of McDonald's. It was a shake and I think a 10 piece meal or something. Ricky, a DoorDash delivery driver for just a few months now. Oh, it's scary Like to think what if I did get shot? I have a son due in a month, my third son. Around two in the morning last week, he was sent by the DoorDash phone app to pick up food to deliver at home in Wyandotte near Goddard and 8th Street. Just had left McDonald's and they gave me a call and it was, you could tell she was intoxicated. The she is Michelle York. When Ricky got to her house, she was waiting on the porch with a man and child. They had a little maybe eight, 10 year old boy and he was standing there throughout the whole thing. He says their delivery was early, shake cold fries hot. He gets up in my face and starts calling me an asshole and all these other things. So I'm just like, what? Gave him the food, tried to walk away, and she punched me in the back. York allegedly wasn't done. She went inside, came back out, pointed the pistol at me, clicked it, didn't shoot. He was just 10 feet away. We're told she tried to shoot again, but misfired. The gun eventually did work, but Ricky was in the car on the phone with 911. I just got shot at. Why not police showed up? It's literally the first thing I said to the cop was like, I don't care what happens to them. Just make sure the kid's OK. A brief standoff with York and then she was cuffed, facing six felonies now, including assault with intent to murder. Ricky says he won't be making any more late night deliveries and has an ask of his future customers. Just not to shoot at me. <laughs> Turn your porch light on at night. <laughs> The woman is now charged with assault with intent to commit murder. What are your thoughts about this? Uber and Lyft's ongoing legal battles have presented the opportunity for alternate rideshare startups to offer a better or alternate service for drivers and riders. Here are a list of companies and please note that this video is not sponsored by any of these companies mentioned. Dallas-based rideshare company Alto is planning on entering the California market in October. The startup, which launched in January of 2019, classifies its drivers as employees and supplies their employees with vehicles. Zero is currently in the Bay Area with plans to expand to other parts of California. Captains, as they refer to their drivers, pay a low booking fee and keep 100% of all their fares, tips, plus other fees. Arcade City, a rideshare collective that sprung into action when both Uber and Lyft abandoned Austin, Texas, made an announcement that they will be launching their services in California. Drivers will be able to set their own rates and keep 100% of their fares. Swoop. Swoop claims to offer group transportation on what QuickBook did for accounting. The business management platform charges a flat fee for around $400 per month and works in conjunction with Swoop's consumer facing business, which matches transportation groups and companies and planners on other users looking for a group ride. Swoop takes 15 to 20% commission more now for rides that it generates. Now, Black Lane offers chauffeur services and long distance rides. Rides are booked in advance and you have complete control over your bookings and schedule. The amount that is shown with every offer is the minimum that will be transferred into your account. They do not deduct any fees or taxes on rides. Wings marketing revolves around a similar marketing scheme that was used by Sidecar, like the whole riding with an old friend thing. Drivers can drive part-time or full-time. Wings will let you manage your schedule, accept rides when you want to, that sort of thing. One thing about this is that passengers can rebook their favorite drivers and they can do that through the app, the website, or by phone. 
And a few weeks ago, I mentioned a company called Dumpling, a Seattle-based delivery service. In addition to grocery, Dumpling is now trying to aid drivers into starting rideshare businesses with a separate app called Dumpling Drive. If you have any suggestions of companies that should be add, added to this list, please let me know in the comments. I've shared links below to each. None of these links are sponsored or affiliate links. Uh, I do not know if any of them are offering bonuses or incentives. If you are looking for something like that, it's probably best to sign up with an existing driver with an affiliate code. That's if you want to get a bonus or something like that. Currently, these are clean links. Now onto what would you do? So three years, 6,000 rides, and last night I had it first. Someone passed out in my back seat, decided to put her bare feet up on the, my seats. I think it's supposed to be tickled her foot and it was enough said, she moved them. If there had been any different reaction than that, we would have had a problem, but there wasn't and we didn't. My kids don't even do that. This is a very, very common one. It's light, it's airy. Has it happened to me? Yes, on the headrest, on the dashboard, we're talking about bare feet. I don't know you, I don't know your feet, I don't know your toes. We're, it's immediately too intimate. And every single time I was like, you're gonna have to take your feet down. I'm gonna you put your shoes on. And people obliged, people were cool, I think. I don't, I don't even know if they were trying to be disrespectful. I think they were just doing what they normally do. And I was like, not in my car and not on my watch. Have you guys ever encountered this? And what kind of advice would you give a newer driver in dealing with something like this? And if this one's too light for you, let me know what you thought about the whole McDonald's thing because it was just really hard for me to understand what happened really because we didn't have the footage but can you imagine it's just it's just crazy out there <sighs> thanks so much for watching if you have a tip for me contact me on my youtube drive girl drive or my facebook at drive girl drive thank you so much for watching be safe and i'll see you here again next saturday bye